We're outside of Hanjan, which is a few blocks south of Koreatown. What's super cool about Korean Chinese fusion is that it's a bona fide sub-genre of Korean and Chinese cuisine. It's really a fusion of the cuisines around the northern part of China and also the northern part of Korea, where the two countries meet. This is our Toki Soju made in Brooklyn by my friend Bran, who's uh, he's white. <laughs> and he's making soju the old-fashioned way, which even in Korea, they don't do this anymore. Stuff in Korea so, is like industrial sludge. Yeah. I'm in. Cheers. Wow. That's like, I've never had artisanal soju. Soju with flavor. I didn't even know such a thing could exist. <laughs> Growing up, I really loved jajangmyeon. I really loved- Everybody loves, loves jajangmyeon. Yeah. It's so good. Unfortunately in Korea, you know, this, this Chinese Korean food is like the local pizza shop yeah. where it's like a dollar, two dollar slice. Yeah. Korean food deserves good ingredients. Um, and it's not just the, the, the fancy Korean food, the chumayori, uh, the Chinese Korean, when it's cooked with good ingredients, it elevates the cuisine like, like, like any other cuisine. What's really cool about Korean Chinese fusion is that it's something that really only Koreans know about. When you eat that kind of food that we serve, the Chinese Korean, it brings you back to, to living in Korea, your first experience with Chinese Korean. And that's what I wanted to sort of share or, or, or have you guys experience. So I think these four dishes are the fundamental courses of a Korean Chinese fusion menu. We're starting out with what I think are the best kind of dumplings, deep fried. You can tell these are handmade, they're, they're, they're fresh. Actually, a lot of dumplings are frozen, but that doesn't mean that they're store-bought. They're actually just frozen ahead of time so they fry better. And the, you can tell these things are gorgeous on the outside. Yeah. The tang suyuk, or the sweet and sour pork. Mm. It's instantly sweet and sour. That sauce hits you right away. A lot of times the sauce just has like tons of corn syrup in it. It's really gloopy. What he did here is um, it's really elegant. It's smooth, doesn't feel like you're having jello. I love this dish. Jajangmyeon, you can take all the other Korean Chinese dishes. This is the only one I would take. I would take this to the grave. There's a little ritual that you have to use to mix it all together. You kind of do this. It's almost like my shaved ice technique. I mean, look at that. This thing is freaking gorgeous. God, this is my childhood. It's so amazing. Oh. That's absolutely fantastic. That's so good. The noodles, perfect texture. Just a little bit of a bite, slight chewiness, melts in your mouth. A lot of times it seems like they're kind of using like a pre-made mix. They're, they're getting black bean mix and they're throwing it together. This one has a lot of depth to it. It's meaty. This is the best version of jajangmyeon I've ever had in my life, straight up. With the aromatics of like grilled onions and you have um, cabbage and you have meat that's like comprehensively pork. Champong. This is the next level of Korean Chinese fusion. This is the one that has the most complexity. It has the most things that can go wrong with it. The first thing you realize is the red color. Oh my God, this thing is just chock full of seafood. Look at that. Shrimp, you got mussels, squid. It's immediately just pepper. It rounds out into like seafood and chili. That's so composed and it's got fiery heat. Ooh, oh, it's got a kick. I gotta bring my parents here. Honestly, like, they would die. It's like, imagine if you had In-N-Out and Shake Shack your whole life, then all of a sudden you had like the Mineta Tavern burger, and you're like, oh my God, that's what a burger can be. That's what this is. No one sought to elevate this dish, it's so crazy. If you guys like what you saw and you wanna see more, click here. And now, time for barbecue. We're gonna have some chador becky with the good hair. Arguably the most popular cut of meat for Korean barbecue.